Hey guys, all right, well this is a video request. Uh, yeah, this is a Walmart here. It is ridiculously windy. I mean, like, I'm over here trying to cook and I feel like I'm on a boat. But on the highway, we had some white knuckle moments because of the, uh, because of the wind. But let me tell you something. You know, when you're going downhill 65, 70 miles an hour, and you get hit with one of these gusts of wind, whoo boy, makes you pucker, if you know what I mean. All right, this is a video request. Um, someone asked me to stop at a gas station and do gas station burritos. Unfortunately, none of the gas stations around here sell burritos. Well, not the kind that you prepare anyway. Um, I mean, not the kind that you get fresh, you know, that you have to actually microwave them or whatever. I don't like to use my microwave. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to step it up a notch, of course. You know, I can't just leave well enough alone and just eat the friggin' burritos. We're going to use my George Foreman to cook two frozen, um, totally unhealthy burritos. Now, these are the Tina's burritos. Um... It's pretty much all I can find, and they're about 50 cents a piece, so. All right, guys, check it out. All right, here's my setup for the burrito. Now, these are the Tina's burritos. We have a beef and cheese, or beef and bean, and a spicy bean and cheese. Now, if you want to splurge, get yourself some nice organic uh, chicken cilantro lime. These are pretty good. Uh, they're a little more healthy for you, but... They're all going to have a lot of right sodium in them. Right there is 1,500 milligrams of sodium. And they say the average person, healthy person, should not consume anywhere near 5,000 milligrams. Now, to me, 5,000 milligrams is a lot. Um, but when you actually start keeping track of your sodium intake, you realize that you hit 5,000 pretty damn quick. All right, so let's do this. We're just going to spray some Pam. On the grates here, just a little bit of uh, non-stick insurance. And then let's see if I can open these one-handed. I have a plate over here. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Nice frozen. Now, I've never done this before, so this ought to be interesting. And number two. All right, we'll switch, switch them back and forth. And when they're done, I'll show you how we make out. I think the trick is going to be, as they thaw, not to allow the weight of this lid to uh, squish them down too much. All right, see what happens. All right, did somebody say cheese? I think we can put some cheese on there. Look at that. Some sizzling action going on. Wow, oh, man, this wind is ridiculous. It's like, I don't know if you guys can hear that. It is brutal. I mean, this whole freaking camper shaking. All right, so distracted by the wind. Back to the burritos. All right, we got a little cheese on there now. We'll just melt that cheese a bit. Now, I won't close it again because that'll just make a mess. So we'll just let the cheese melt. All right. Well, cheese is all melted. What do you say we get them off the griddle here? One. Two. Look at that. Unplug our little imitation George Foreman here. Let's take a look at the solar. So I'm not running a generator, guys. I'm running off the inverter. Solar's bringing in. Let's see here. 14 amps. Um, 
it says 12.4 volts there. I don't know how accurate that is because I was just running pretty heavy load. There's 18 amps. So we'll be fully charged rather quickly. And free power from the sun, guys. Trick to these little grills here, though. You want to clean them up right away while they're warm. Now, some Pace Chunky Salsa. Not my favorite brand, but Sam's Club had two at a good price. We'll add a little salsa right to the top, like so. And to have with it, for Christmas I always get these little hot sauces because everybody knows I love hot sauce. So you get the little samplers and stuff like that, my stocking. This one here is jalapeno pepper sauce. And I'll probably use this whole little, you know, it's not that big. So I'll have that with it. Yeah, I could sprinkle a little more cheese over the top, but I think that'll do. So we'll bring it over to the dinette here. And we're watching, uh, I think it's the Earth documentary, Space Travel. Uh, it's on Netflix. So I'm going to watch that, have some lunch. Go into Walmart, do some shopping. Right, guys. Here is your awesome, wait, 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 burritos. The person that requested the burritos, you know who you are. But I suppose I should do a taste test. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the steam coming right off of there. All right guys, lunch is served. More like an enchilada when you do it this way. All right, guys, Black Cop signing out. Whoo! That hot pepper sauce got a little heat to it.